Okay, so very quickly, I'm going to show you how to export a project that you may have in the Instant 360 Studio. Now, you could do this on an app. Essentially, it's free, but you could also do it on the computer. I do edit all my 360 footage on a computer. I just find it to be easier. So I'm going to show you how to export it. It's actually quite simple, really nothing crazy to do. But again, I'm going to talk about that. Welcome to the Content Creator Tool channel. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification by the way i got a playlist with things to do here in the studio it's going to be linked down below and you can check out all the videos that i have done related to the studio so i got this project done here and as you can see i'm going to start it here from the beginning kind of walking around it's going to go into that tiny planet and then it's going to come back up into something else and i'm going to use this to insert it into a different video and again what i'm going to do is that i'm done with this project i'm going to click all the way down here to the right all the way to the bottom there is arrow you're going to click right there and it's going to give you this screen right now now first of all you're going to export this on flat video 360 there's a choice as well but if you're reframing the video you're going to export it in flat video right so again for the purpose of this video this is how we're going to do it we're going to click right here and we're going to put a name right so i'm gonna just write test a lot of times when i'm exporting different sections of a video for another video i kind of put it in number so like now i know which one comes first and which one comes last but again that's going to be your personal choice right below is going to be the path where you want to put it obviously you could click there and you could put it in whatever folder you decided to usually i put it on this folder called 360 need to edit because then i'm going to edit again in final cut pro so again that's going to be right there usually i bring the bit rate to 200 primarily because it's the highest bit rate that you can go the best quality and then here you can set up all the way to 4k right i think it's 3840 by 2160 if i'm not mistaken so you could come over here and change that to 4k quality right the frame is going to be locked in place and this is going to be the encoding i usually use the h264 as far as i know it's one of the best one for youtube videos because i'm going to upload this to youtube the pro res 422 i think it's a more professional one but again just keep in mind that depends which one you get it's going to be also the file side right so my experience the pro res 422 even though it's supposed to be a more advanced advanced one as far as i know is also very very large and these files are already really really large so again experiment with that a little bit but i usually go with h264 and then this right here says remove grain i have experiment with that for a little bit usually when you go into nine there's not so much lighting in the outside people may click that i have clicked that i haven't found to be too much of a difference and in fact i don't even touch that so from there i just gonna click star sporting and you're gonna have all the way to the left to the bottom you can't see it here maybe you can see it a little bit you're gonna have a percentage right here it says 99 and it already did it once it finished processing it's going to give you actually a sound so you know it's done the cool thing is that as you're processing this video just keep in mind that you don't have to stop working you could come all the way to the top right here and again click there go all all the way down here to project and you could click create a new project and again you could be working on different projects as that is getting rendered in the background so if you're getting multiple different sections out of a video just know that as videos are getting processed you could continue to work and here's a video that i just exported i'm just going to click here so you guys can see it it's going to be me walking going into the tiny planet right there and then coming back up and again just really really nice so there you have it very quickly how you export in the instant 360 studio here in the computer let me know what you think check out the other videos and we we'll see you in the next one